Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll simply try to connect um, etcd server and we'll try to put a key value pair and we'll try to retrieve using the Python example. So first of all, we'll create a fresh server. So I'll just go to the GCP and I'll create a compute VM. So there is an Ubuntu VM, there is a Linux one. And then after we'll install the Docker and then after we'll try to um, uh, Call the image uh, or pull the image for it is uh, DC and we'll then try to make it up and then we'll try to create a Python program to do the all the stuff so here I'll just click on this create instance and I just go with the default and I'll simply choose this um, change uh, the operating system and I'll choose the Ubuntu and click on select you can use any VM that you like maybe in Azure, AWS or a virtual machine. So just click on the create. Once it is created, just click on this SSH and this will open the window for SSH into the VM. So once the window is open, just log in using the sudo su and we need to provide two commands to get an update package and all. So apt update and apt upgrade. Now let us try apt upgrade. Say yes. Now let us install the docker. Say yes again. So once the docker is installed, let's check the docker version. And you can see docker daemon is running so now we will just uh, use a very small um, part of this uh, docker image for this etdc so i'll just paste it and i'll explain what exactly all the lines so first of all docker and then run then int it is interactive session and then you have a port port is a container port and a host port so outside access can also be uh, used uh, by this port like 2379 and then we have image name so qa io and then we have etdc latest then you have the user local bean etdc so this is this command is simply uh, nothing but this is a, the part that user local bean etdc uh, in your docker run command specifies executable uh, that should be run inside the container so um, basically the first one is a path and that indicates that whenever container starts it should execute the etdc library located at the user local bin and etdc all right and then uh, the last two listen client url and advertise client rule um, advertise client url they are the first one is a listen client url this is, so this option specifies the url where the etdc will listen for the client request and then the http 0.0.0, .0 and then colon 2379 means it is a recent listen on all the network interfaces uh, on port 2379 for the client connection. The second one is advertise client URL. So this option specifies the URL that ETDC will advertise to the clients for accessing the ETDC servers. And again, the HTTP 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 uh, colon 2379 means that ETDC will tell the client to connect to any network interface on this port 2379. So this is useful when um, service is expected to be accessed from different network interfaces. All right, so let's try to run it. Okay, so it's running, but before we try to connect, we need to open the firewall. So I, what I will do is simply just go to the GCP and I just check uh, the firewall. So again, either you can create the firewall. I already have one single firewall, but either you can use the create a firewall rule and you can press specify. You don't need to specify anything except for this um, TCP protocol that is 2379 and it's all done. And then you can copy this allow MySQL app to you. Um, this is a firewall rule name. So I have specified both MySQL and uh, uh, the HTTC. So you can have your own name. And here, if you select um, this, a VM machine and then click on edit and here if you see the network text I just paste it and just save it okay once it is saved now let's go to the 
uh, machine. Now, now let us uh, use the Python command for the same. So I previously I created the Python um, uh, project. It's a very simple again. Uh, if you have a PyCharm, you can create a new project. And this is a simple line of code. And I will just change this IP address because now I have created the new virtual machine. So I'll just copy this IP address. And here I just put this IP address. So here you can see that simply we are just uh, um, installing pip install python etc. Okay, so again simple. And then you have a main method. Main method have a client. So first of all, we have an etc client. We are importing the etc, the client uh, etc dot client, and we are just passing the host name, the partner. Then we are creating the uh, key and value. Okay, and then client dot write. Uh, so this client dot write will uh, put the key value pair into the etc and then we are print also fetching client dot read key and then the value and then we'll try to print this value all right so let me try to run and check okay so we are fetching the value 101 all right again a very simple example of the python just uh, two or three lines of code you can see that once this client is created and then we have uh, two lines of executable code over here so key and value just we are creating and calling the main method all right all right so that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching see you in the next video